All right, guys, I'm back again. Another uh, update on the Volvo. Two days in a row. Kind of a record, probably. Ended up picking up some more fittings today to finish up my fuel system for the most part. Um, two Dash 8s, uh, push lock fittings, and a 40 micron screen style Russell inline fuel filter. Uh, there's a sock already on the pump, but this is kind of like uh, just a little added insurance, I guess. wasn't expensive. It's just a <clears throat> just a little screen inside there that uh, filters down the 40. So better than nothing, I guess. I mean, I know you guys have been talking about <clears throat> how um, most of you don't use filters, but whatever. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on for you guys uh, and I'll show you where it goes or where I'm gonna put it so here's another one of my uh, Harbor Freight pickups uh, works pretty decent just a hose cutter kinda ratcheting I think it says it goes um, inch and five-eighths diameter um, it, it'll go bigger you just have to kind of work with it a little bit but works pretty decent for a couple bucks it was I figured I'd try it just like a like a blade on a ratchet you guys know what this is anyways let me get this thing started okay guys I got the uh, feed line cut there uh, I'm going to install these two push lock fittings for those of you who have never used this Parker stuff, uh, it's really nice because uh, one, it's local, two, it's cheaper than those uh, other anodized and aluminum fittings. Uh, they actually sell push lock stuff as well, but um, it's more expensive, obviously, because it's got a, you know, it's uh, race race colors and fancy stuff like that. But uh, these work just as well, and I think they're built a little bit better. Um, anyways. What I typically do <clears throat> is I will spray them down a little uh, WD-40 a little bit just to help them go in. And then I'll push them right in to the hose, <clears throat> and all you literally all you do is push the fitting into the hose, and that's it. So let me get these done, and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, guys, like I said, you just uh, cut the line and push those push lock fittings in up until they get to the uh, yellow collar there. And then all I'm gonna do at this point is take my inline fuel filter, thread them in. Let me just uh, thread it in here real quick and I'll show you a picture of that. Okay, so obviously I got some wine I gotta pull front, no biggie. But that is the fuel filter installed. Again, it's not a $300 uh, reverse osmosis filter, but it's just some added insurance on the line. So again, I just have to pull some uh, fuel line forward, which will probably actually work out pretty decent. And uh, that's the filter install. <laughs> 